Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. We're on our way to date night. Date night is a great night. And tonight, we're going to a place called... Durango Cantina. Big bump. Durango Cantina. Big bump. Little, little bumpy. Little bumpy. Uh, not a study cam. Uh, Durango Cantina. It's a new place that just opened in West Hollywood, and it's mm -hmm. Western themed, so I'm excited. They have really delicious looking... Big, big bump. Big bump. <laughs> <laughs> really delicious looking frozen margaritas, which are my favorite. Big bump. A lot of big bumps. The roads in LA are not great. Julana's gonna drink a virgin frozen margarita because she's got a baby inside her. And I'm not gonna drink because I'm on a diet. God. <laughs> Stay tuned. We just got home after dinner. It was pretty good. I was a little disappointed. I wasn't able to get a frozen margarita because mm. those all had alcohol already mixed into them. But I was able to just get a regular non-alcoholic margarita. What did you have, Carson? I had, uh, well, I'll tell you what, I did have a drink. Um, <laughs> one thing you learn about me is usually I say I'm not gonna drink and then I have a drink. Uh, <laughs> Very true. But I only had like three quarters of, of a drink. Also had a nice little, I guess it was like a cold ceviche soup. But with full size uh, seafood in it. Yeah, with some shrimp and some crab legs. And for my main course, I had a half a chicken, which was very good. Mm -hmm. oh, I quite enjoyed my half a chicken. Took Willie here, who is now bothering us to throw his toy. Uh, Willie and I went on about a two and a half mile run just to burn off a little bit of dinner. And now it's about nine o'clock and we are going to end the night by watching a Taylor Sheridan show, which is just about our favorite things to watch on TV. Yep. So good night. He creates gold. He does. I want to work with him. Hire Carson Boatman. Hey Taylor. <laughs> All right, see ya. This is Dre. He's the first person that ever cut my hair here in Los Angeles, and he's been the only person that's cut my hair for the last eight years. And it's been like a year and a half since my last haircut, so he's gonna fix me up and get me looking all pretty. I've just put together a few gifts because we have a very busy afternoon ahead of us today. We have a birthday party to go to, as well as a baby shower for some friends of ours, castmates of Carson's. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing this afternoon. I just recently found this brand at the Amazon Style Store. By the way, the Amazon Style Store is one of the most amazing shopping experiences I've ever had in my life. So 
if you live in a city that has one or if you visit a city that has one and you get the chance to go, I definitely recommend going to shop there. But this brand is called Moon River and they make the most beautiful dresses. I actually bought two of them. I bought this one and one that looks like this. I actually bought this in my regular size small because of the way the dress is cut. I figured it would be good for baby uh, as my belly grows. I'll still have a lot of space here and hopefully I will also be able to wear it after the baby comes. How confident are you in Raven? I know Raven so well. I got all the other ones right. Okay, all right, we're ready. I'll just pick things I I'm think scared. you would answer because I know how you see me. Drop the question. Oh, we're starting with an easy question, you guys. Oh my God. And the question is, what is your partner's favorite comfort TV show? Girl, is it reality? Can't tell you. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's like coffee. 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 Yeah, it's like co
but we have so many things to do, like cleaning and packing. Yeah, I can't really come up with a great rebuttal to that. I think mean, that is true. You want to give me a kiss? Well, no, give me a good one. Oh, good boy. Thank you, buddy. So, get up. Get up. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. These are shorts. What I like to do is just take them and just kind of stack them on other shorts or swim trunks. I kind of keep them in the same pile. I can kind of use them all for the same thing. I'm gonna go right in brush. We're in the future so we can see text messages on our watches now. And I'll go three pairs of shorts because we're gonna be there for three days. So I plan on running three mornings. Don't wanna run in dirty shorts. How many shirts should I bring? I Three. I'd bring this one. I will bring a cut off. Bear with me. I'll also bring a button down, short sleeve shirt. Sometimes you just want to class it up. Just class it on up there. Don't really know how to fold a button down shirt without making it look really bad by the time you go to start doing a terrible job. <laughs> and that'll just go there. And what else do we need? You know, I'm gonna throw in a toothbrush, some deodorant maybe some hair product, a razor, which I have charging. And that's gonna do me. I'll do a pair of tennis shoes, a pair of flip flops. Please, baby. All right, well, contrary to how Carson packs, I like to be super prepared. So I plan out all my outfits and I've laid them out here. And now I'm just organizing them into daytime clothes and bathing suits workout outfits. Um, I have another bag for accessories, which would be like sunglasses, sunscreen, all that stuff. So that when we get to the island, everything is easy to find. All right. All right. We're all packed. The house is clean. We are gonna get in an Uber, drive an hour to LAX. It's Monday night at 10 o'clock and it's completely packed at LAX. <laughs> What's that? It's asparagus and ground turkey. Yum. So good. So good. And we're here at the airport at LAX. It's an absolute madhouse. It is so packed. I, no matter what time you come to LAX, it, there's just like a million people here. It's 10.45. 10.45. I think it might be a full flight. But I hope not, because I'd like a row to myself. Take a little, I would say nap, but it's the middle of the night, so just to sleep. So pretty much from here, we're flying overnight to Dallas. From Dallas, we're going to fly to Belize in the morning. And that's what we're going to be doing all night. Ooh. Ooh. So. Yeah, I'm really hot. Yeah, I'm really tired. That's how I feel. That's how I'm feeling. I also feel very hot, but excited. Me too. Very excited. Just buckled up for safety. Is your seatbelt on, Juliana? Here we go. Not yet. Well, you know, if we have a plane crash, it's important to have your seatbelt on. Yeah. You know? All right. Okay. Now. We are finally starting our journey to Belize. So, good night, and we will see you guys in Belize. Yeah, I didn't say anything. I'm pretty tired right now.